Okay, Robert Carroll. This is your Lescom LC995 V2. See, it's got the shot keys, uh, all six of them. All right, there's your narrow 15 kilohertz filter. Uh, replaces the 25 kilohertz filter. I've done the receive upgrade. I've also done the uh, transmit upgrade. All of these are the FPQ 13N10s. There's the old uh, 520s right there. Uh, upgraded your buffer for your voltage regulator to a 3300 microfarad. Did the same thing for the input buffer for your power. Uh, you now have a 3300 microfarad there. Okay. And I set the voltages for all these guys. Three and a half volts for him. Three and a half volts for him. And four volts for the driver. Okay. Let's do a quick power check. Hello, audio, audio, hello. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio test. We're on that bottom scale. Let's see what it looks like on the top scale. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. That was on lower side band. Right, let's go to, actually, that was upper side band. Let's go to AM. We're on AM right now, on AM. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, three. Let's go back to, let's go to lower side band. So hopefully you can hear it on the, uh, on the Yezu. Audio, hello, hello, audio. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio test. See, it's doing about 30 watts RMS and uh, uh, roughly about 55, 57 watts uh, peak on sideband. Okay. All right. More to come. Okay. Let's do a shot of the modulation. I've got my BNK set on two tone. And let's see. Of course, as soon as I go to film it, it goes out of sync. Hang on a second. Let me get the damn thing to sync up again. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. There it is with the two tone injected. That's on AM. Nice, pretty. And you got to remember now, there's two tones in there. That's why you're seeing the bumps on it. Let's see, what does it do if I just inject? Now well, you can't. Now it's unsynced again. Okay. And if I talk into it, audio, hello, hello, audio, audio, one, two, three, three, two, one, audio. I was on the AM. I'm going to switch to sideband. Hello, sideband. Audio, test, test, audio. Back on the two-tone. What you want to bet it unsyncs again. No, it stayed in there. Okay. See how nice and round that is? That's what you want. Okay. All right, that's on a stock hand mic, just my little Euro CB hand mic. Okay. All right. More to come. Hello, folks. Welcome to Lester's Custom Truck Shop. Robert C. in Ohio. Here's your Lescom LC995 V2 Custom. Let me turn down that monitor radio. Uh, right now band E is the CB band and it goes all the way down to 25165 down real close to 12 meters and then it goes all the way up to 28755 but like I've said before if you do not have an amateur license a ham license do not talk on 28 megahertz can listen all you want to just do not transmit on 28 megahertz okay all right uh, now 
Well, everything is pretty much self-explanatory. And I've already showed you the uh, the output power. Let me go back to the CB band. Uh, I need to show you the receiver. Let me turn on the. There we go. There's S9 on AM. S9 on sideband. Got a really nice receiver. Let me switch to an outside antenna. See if we can hear any traffic on 38. Yeah, not much. Kind of dead. It's real early in the morning here. But uh, I hear something way off in the background. It might help also if I centered up the clarifier. And I did center that up for you. On the lower sideband, it's dead on. It matches my Yezu perfectly. Okay, well, looks like we're not going to hear anything. So, Robert, I sure hope you enjoy your new radio. It was my pleasure to build it for you. 73s, everybody.